Let's play the game. You know, the one where you get on here and share something. Something you feel strongly about. Something controversial or vulnerable or witty or provocative or very, very important. And you know what happens next. Somebody goes and shits on you in the comments. And you don't really know this person, but you do know that they're rude and immature and likely problematic and definitely bitter and probably living in their mom's basement and just a very, very bad person. And you just can't wait to tell them that. Next time this happens, stop. And remember, this is judgment. And when you recognize judgment, try to think of this. This is judgment. Throwing my own shit at other people to make myself feel better. But wait, you say. I wasn't trying to hurt anyone. I was just defending myself. I was just calling out the rude, crude, unacceptable behavior. I was right. And they were wrong. Okay, that may be true, but it doesn't change this simple fact that you can't play the game of judgment without getting shit on your hands. Hey, do you remember that time back when you were a kid when you said that thing that was really, really mean? Maybe to a friend or a sibling or that kid at school. Something that when you think back now makes you kind of... Can you remember what you were feeling just before you said that thing? Was it anger or hatred or betrayal or disgust or self-righteousness or, or was it something else? Underneath it all, deep down, was it ever anything other than suffering? Because in that moment, you were suffering. Maybe you felt hurt, or alone, or judged, or insecure, or embarrassed, or misunderstood, disconnected from love, joy, belonging, disconnected from who you truly are. Like an ape in the zoo. So next time you catch yourself playing the game of judgment, just try to notice before the blame, before the outrage, before you kindly point out in the most judgy, non-judgmental way possible how really this person is just sad and disconnected and forever alone. Before you do anything, just notice suffering. And remember, compassion, not just for them, but for yourself. Because here's the tricky thing. The more you judge others, the more you're also going to judge yourself. And the more you judge yourself, the more you're going to suffer. And the more you suffer, you get the point. So next time this happens, notice and recognize this moment for what it could be. An opportunity. An opportunity to deepen my own compassion. Because when I extend compassion to those I would otherwise deem unworthy, I'm not being weak or avoidant or complicit. No, I'm practicing, training for the truly hard work of extending that compassion to myself. I'm practicing loving myself, all of myself, even the ugly parts, even the parts that make me So you want to know how to quit the game, how we can begin to end all the rage and the polarization and the name calling and the cruelty and that unshakable feeling that there is something deep inside of us that is unworthy of love. You want to know how to stop the suffering? I don't know. But you can start by washing your hands.